Hey boys, it's Arm Nun. Today we're going to be customizing the brand new Declossi Draugr in Grand Theft Auto Online. This thing just got added today with the uh, weekly update, so I'm excited to customize this thing. Let's get into it. Starting off with the armor. We're going to go all the way up on this, of course, for the brakes. We're also going to go all the way up on those as well. For the bumpers, we do have front and rear options for this vehicle. Uh, we're going to scroll through them all here and see which ones we actually end up liking. So far, there's not much difference between them, but we're going to go for the shield vented bumper because I like the look of that. For the rear bumper, we can add a secondary shield or a ridge shield. Uh, let's go for the ridge. I like that one the best, I think. For the doors, we can add uh, tube doors. Oh man, we got oh we got all kinds of options. So basically, you can change the doors from being actual doors, well, or kind of actual doors, uh, into being tubes if you want to. I do kind of like the look of the tube short doors. Like these look pretty. Those look pretty good. So do the mesh though. I, I like the mesh the best actually. We're gonna go for those. For the engine, we are gonna go all the way up on that. For the exhaust, we have several different options here. We got some twin options. We got single options. We got uh, the external exhaust, or of course we have the bullhorn. Uh, the bullhorn is kind of tight, but I feel like everybody's gonna go for that. So I'm gonna go for the titanium oval exhaust because I think that looks the best. For the grill, uh, we do have quite a few different options. God, I thought that was a light, but it's just the reflection of the uh, of the paint. Um, I am not 100% sure which one I want to go for here. Kind of like the stock one, honestly, but at the same time, the stinger is pretty clean. We'll go for that one. For the lights, we are, of course, going to go xenon. For the livery, we do have a few different options. We got the white stripes, we got the blue stripes. So I'm assuming the white stripes, they're in the exact same pattern as the blue stripes. Uh, sorry, you guys can't see that because, of course, the color is uh, a bit wrong. Uh, the racing livery is kind of cool. Color Vine and Color Vine 2 are both pretty cool as well. Uh, we got the GTO Racer. We got Hard Stand Racing. Okay. We also have the Color Stripes. Oh, I kind of like that, actually. And, of course, we have Camo. You know what? The Camo is actually super tight. Um, but I kind of like the Color Stripes better, I think. So we're going to go for those. The Respray, I'm kind of... I kind of have an idea in mind. Uh, could go for like a silver. A silver looks really good with that in my opinion. I think I'm actually going to go silver. I was going to go for something else, but I think that that just looks too good to pass up. So we'll go silver for both the primary and the secondary on this. For the seats, we have... Oh, we got a lot of different options here. That's cool how much you can actually see the seats on this vehicle as well. Um, I really like that. The carbon seats are they are pretty clean looking. Um, I like the competition seats. Racing seats are cool too. Um... I think that I kind of like the racing seats. We're going to go for those ones. That's that's my favorite so far. For the skid plate on the rear of the vehicle, um, we'll go for the same. I think we'll go for the performance um, or maybe the trail. No, we'll go trail on that for sure. Snorkels, we can, of course, add one. Um, I do believe that these might be functional, actually. I, uh, I saw a clip of somebody driving this thing and uh, it seemed like it might have been functional. Um, the spoiler option is super strange looking. Um, but we'll go for it. We'll go for the primary, uh, for the suspension can lower this thing down. I think I will because the ground clearance is still pretty good and, uh, this should help with the on-road performance race transmission. We're going to go all the way up on that for the trunk. We have a few different options here. We got some spare tires. We got, uh, some performance upgrades, which I'm assuming is NOS or nitrous oxide for those of you who are going to kill me for calling it NOS. Um, what other options do we have here? I think I kind of like the performance upgrade, um, or maybe the stunt cage with the wheel. I like the stunt cage with the wheel. Let's go for that one. Turbo, obviously we're going to add that onto the vehicle. For the wheels, there is really only one wheel that we can go for, and that is, of course, the Concave Rally Master because they just look so good. So we'll add that. We'll go black for the uh, for the wheel color. We will go bulletproof tires, obviously, and I don't think that they... No, there's no window tint. Um, so that's it for the customization part of the video. Let's take this thing down to the ground. We're going to do a sound test and a full review on the vehicle. All right, let's have a listen to what the uh, Draugr sounds like here. It actually sounds pretty good uh, for being, you know, a big off-road vehicle. I have a prediction that I think this might be one of the new fastest off-road vehicles in the game. Just off of the initial acceleration, this thing feels crazy fast. Like crazy fast. I have a feeling the top speed is going to be a little weak, but I think it is uh, 
going to have such good acceleration and I feel like the handling is going to be really good too. And I feel like both of those things together are going to make this thing at least really, really good or really competitive on tracks that are a little bit twistier. Um, I can already feel, yeah, I can already feel the top speed. It's not that high, I don't think. I, I'm thinking like maybe 120 miles per hour. Um, I, yeah, I can't, I can't see this thing being super fast. As far as the handling goes, it feels super, super responsive. Actually, it feels like insanely good. This truck feels so light like so so light and i'm sure that's part of the design feature i mean it's kind of a glorified side by side but oh my god the handling is good that is crazy good well as far as uh vehicles that have been added through drip feed i'm gonna go ahead and say that this is my favorite uh so far um i like this thing a little bit better than the uh the 722 so far um i do like that car a lot but i think that this is just a very good vehicle i mean i i think that this might be maybe potentially the new fastest off-road vehicle in the game um, excluding dirt bikes obviously this thing is lightning fast and it handles really really well like shockingly well i uh i actually can't believe how good this thing is it's it's actually really impressive whoever designed this thing uh on behalf of rockstar for this update did a really good job um this truck is insane it's so good I mean, the handling, like, it feels like a sports car, you know? And it feels like a good sports car at that. It feels maybe not as good as an Itali GTO, but, like, it feels similarly, like, good, but obviously for an off-road vehicle. Um, we're going to take this thing off-road now uh, because, well, obviously, I think everybody probably wants to know what it's like off-road. And it's really good. <laughs> it's really good so far. It's got so much suspension travel, even with the suspension, um lowered all the way down i i'm predicting it this is the new fastest off-road vehicle in the game uh, that has four wheels this it's just it's it's too good not to be i think i mean i just can't see i i genuinely cannot see how could not be the fastest off-road vehicle in the game it lands like so precisely and it it really doesn't bounce very much either like it's it's incredibly good guys um I mean, it does cost $1.8 million, so it is a lot more expensive than vehicles like the Canis Camacho. Um, but I feel like off-road performance-wise and just in general performance-wise, I feel like this thing kind of blows the Camacho out of the water. And that's saying something because that is technically, I think, the second fastest four-wheeled uh, off-road vehicle in the game right now. So I think that this thing beats it, though. I, I really do. I think it does. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for the customization and review on the Declossi Draugr. This thing is awesome. I would definitely recommend picking this up. I, I genuinely, I cannot recommend this enough. It is actually a very good vehicle. There you have it, boys. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, a like is of course appreciated. If not, dislike, subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.